Hey guys, Sherry again with Plants for All Seasons, just doing a follow up uh, after our crazy infestation of sod webworms. So last week I showed you how to uh, basically kill them and get them under control. This week we're kind of dealing with the damage. There was large areas of people's yards damage. Um, so you want to stay on top of your insecticides, whether it's organic or synthetic, um, about every two weeks. Do your sprayings if you're seeing the moths flying about in your yard still. Um, but now we got to deal with the damage uh, that they produced so far. So um, large areas of this yard were first taken out by chinch bugs and then the sod webworms came in. So they did a lot of damage in here. So I'm going to show you what we need to do to uh, mend the damage and really get this yard nice and lush and green before we go into winter. Um, if you go into winter with big patchy bare spots, you're going to come out in spring just weeds like crazy. So let's look at the products first that I recommend. Um, we first we want to do a top dressing with a, a really uh, high-end compost, something like this Happy Frog or uh, Nature's Way leaf mold compost. And you just need a thin layer to put out and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, if you have huge areas, you can buy a bag of Humates Plus and load it in a, a, a broadcast spreader and put it out. This bag goes about 4,000 square feet um, and it's like concentrated compost in a bag. So whether you do the soil and, and rake it through or you want something that's easier to put in a spreader and do a large areas, you can go with that. After you get your compost out or your Humates, we really need to feed the microbes that we're putting with the compost. Uh, with something and I really like this boomerang boomerang is something that helps any plant that's gone through stress to come back so our roots of our St. Augustine have just uh, they've been stressed out because they they've been chewed down and there's no leaf surface for chlorophyll production so they're stressed out so we want to really inoculate that um, compost in that soil to boomerang back to come back faster so I like this Fox Farm Boomerang for that. It's got some kelp and seaweed and all kinds of mycorrhizae in it. Uh, and you can put this out with a hose and spreader or as simple as a watering can if you're doing smaller areas. We're gonna want to um, put out a pre-emergent herbicide on thinned, weakened grass. So if our grass doesn't make a comeback before we get to about the first or second week of November, we're gonna wanna put a pre-emergent herbicide. I recommend the Barricade. Um, because it just it goes 5,000 square feet and it covers a huge amount of broadleaf and grassy weeds. And then we're going to want to put down a fall fertilizer. So uh, Nitrofos has a fall fertilizer and how that's different is it's got a different ratio. It's an 8, 12, 16. So that last number is really going to strengthen that root system to go through winter. So we'll have less uh, winter damage. But I would still wait and do these two products in October, November time frame. Everything else you really need to do now as soon as possible, um, put your compost down, your humates or your, in your boomerang, and let's get that grass like actively growing and recovering while the temperatures are still warm enough to get some good growth out of it. So I'm gonna show you um, this right here. I just dumped the compost out. This is a three cubic foot bale. Um, I would do about one cubic foot for three uh, square foot area. So this has this bale right here has three cubic feet in it. So you could do a large area with that. And you literally dump it out and just rake it through. You want to rake it through until the grass blades are poking up through. You don't need to put it on really thick. So see how far this is going. Rake it through. I've already done this whole area over here, just so you can see how easy it is took me five seconds. I mean, we just literally just put it out, break down. Now this area right here was severely damaged by the chinch bugs and then the sod webworms next. So uh, that's why we wanted to make sure and get this good compost on here because if the sun beats down on that bare soil, um, it's going to hard pack it and it's going to be harder for it to come back in the spring. So after you put your compost out, we want to water it in with the boomerang. In this small area, I would just do it with the uh, watering can, just like this. If I was doing large areas, like I said, I would put this in a hose and sprayer. But for small areas, and it just needs to be a light, light watering. Um, it's four teaspoons and a gallon of water. Uh, this is a two gallon watering can. So what, two gallons of water on this whole area is sufficient. 
efficient. Now if I was doing the rest of the yard, I would definitely do the hose-in sprayer. Now I'm going to um, sit tight, let the grass fill through. Uh, we're going to get rain for I think the next five or six days. Um, so once this fills through and, and starts growing, if it looks great, I'm just going to go ahead and feed it come uh, end of October, beginning of November. Um, if I feel like it's still just kind of weak, I'm going to feed it and I'm also going to put the barricade out, the pre-emergent herbicide. If you feel like the grass is completely recovered come November, I, I say the uh, pre-emergent is not necessary. So that's really all there is to, you know, repairing the damage from these little guys. Uh, but like I said, the next few weeks really watch for those little moths and if you still see them, we need to retreat. It's not just a once and done thing. We've just kind of gotten them under control, but now we want to prevent them from uh, doing large damage again. So that's all I have for you tonight, guys. Thanks for joining and uh, come see me at the nursery.